So about a year ago, we got our hands on a Derry Mark 10. Now, we said some good things, some bad things, but overall it was an okay shotgun. Fast forward six months and we're at SHOT Show 2017 and we are told that the company is coming out with a new version called the MK12. So I got a brochure, flipped through the pages, drooled a little bit, and waited. And finally, guess what showed up? My brand new, wait, I wanna flip these up so it looks cool. My Daria Mark 12. I'm Steve at The Shooting Edge. Today we got a new toy. So this shotgun is so different from its predecessor, the MK10, that it's not even worth comparing the two. Uh, the parts and pieces and everything in between is so different that I just want you guys to look at this as an awesome new alternative to any other semi-automatic shotgun you might choose. So what am I most excited about? The new stock, the new pistol grip, the new handguard, the new barrel shroud, the new action, the new everything. So let's take a closer look in the top down. Dude, this thing is so mobile. Look, it just moved. So the Daria MK12 is an auto-loading box-fed AR-style shotgun. It is classified as non-restricted in Canada. So the upper and lower receiver are constructed from aluminum and it does borrow many, many, many elements from the AR-15 platform. It is gas operated and can accept AR-15 stocks as well as pistol grips. While this is a shotgun, the fire controls are very similar to that of an AR-15 with a push button magazine release and a bolt lock back on the left side of the receiver right here. It'll take two three quarter or three inch shells. So there are three sight options for the shotgun. I have the polymer flip up sights on the shotgun right now. Two polymer 45 degree angle fixed sights and one rear carry handle with a built in sight. The stock is telescopic, it is three positions and it comes with a built in 10 position cheek riser. It says 10 positions on it. It just kind of moves up and down so. Have you counted them? No and one slidey adjustable cheek riser. <laughs> now our barrel length is gonna come in at 20 inches and the overall weight is gonna be about 8.4 pounds. So one of the best things about the Daria Mark 12, like the MK10, is that it comes with so much stuff. So inside your fitted suede foam case, you will find your Daria MK12 shotgun. It has flip up sights already installed on it and a two round mag also installed inside of it. Two five round magazines, foam ear protection, two additional chokes. I believe there's already one installed in the shotgun right now. Your smart tool, this includes a choke wrench to take them in and out of the barrel. A nylon sling. Oh, it's actually a one point bungee sling. Your charging handle, this can be put in either side of the bolt depending on your own personal preference. Angled foregrip, this of course sits on the handguard, like so. Two uh, polymer 45 degree sights, uh, both rear and front. Polymer carry handle with the rear sight. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. It's a sight tool. It's a sight tool. Sight adjustment tool, ha, huh, got it. Your probably your instruction manual. They gave us a used chamois. <laughs> appears to be used. <laughs> and also inside the instruction manual is your two year warranty certificate. So we're gonna test this guy out and let you know what we think about it. I was really excited to get my hands on the MK12 and I can tell you that I was not disappointed. The overall feel of the MK12 is quite solid. There's no movement between the lower and upper receiver and once you have this adjustable stock to your comfort position, it points incredibly naturally. After running dozens and dozens of rounds through this guy, I can tell you that it's easier to compare this to an AR-15 than it is the younger brother, the MK10. Whether we were shooting slugs at paper targets or birdshot at clays, I found this guy to be incredibly reliable and accurate. And that's a big deal. I mean, when you're dealing with a shotgun that's semi-automatic and box fed, your number one concern is reliability. 
So the way I see it, guns are a lot like cars and you should be more concerned with how they run than how they look. In this case, you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting a gun that looks great and is also quite reliable and accurate. So overall, my impression of the MK12 was really positive. I went into this a little bit wary and I was worried that maybe the new design changes had created some uh, inadvertent flaws like, you know, feeding and cycling issues. But I gotta tell you that I had nothing but fun with this gun. Like fun, I would describe this with one word and it was fun. Um, when I got bored of shooting slugs with this, we just threw in target load and I started shooting clays. I mean, it's so versatile and at the price point, I can't see why anyone would not want this in their collection. So the best feature, hands down, about this guy is that it is non-restricted. That means that you can shoot it on your farmland, you can shoot it on crown land, you can take it out and it doesn't fall under those same rigid restrictions you would find uh, in an AR-15 or a pistol. So one thing I found a bit peculiar about the MK12 was the bolt release. I feel like it exists, uh, same place you would find it in AR-15, but it's not exactly usable and I'll show you what I mean. So if I charge this guy and I wanna use my bolt release to chamber it, I can't, like it doesn't work. It doesn't even have a ledge for my thumb to push down on. It's like it's there, but it's not supposed to be used for anything. On a final note, I just wanna mention that I am absolutely shocked and taken back at how much stuff this gun comes with inside the box. I mean, I challenge other manufacturers to include as much stuff as the MK12 comes with. So my rating on this guy is gonna be eight out of 10 suede cases with a whole bunch of stuff inside them. I'm Steve, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. guys that this is not a version 2 of the Mark 10. This is a brand new shotgun. The company still sells the Mark 10. Question from the guy in the front row. It, it probably won't pass this course anyway. It, what do you mean I won't pass this course? What? <laughs> I know everything about that rifle, Steve. It's a shotgun, first of all. <laughs> Damn it. That's my favorite revolver. What? Do you uh, have a question? Yes.